Next on our list is the man you voted the number four most iconic champion. Um, I would definitely agree with that. I think that it, what he's done uh, after wrestling, I, I watched him come in and through and saw the way his interviews developed and his, his charisma and his confidence and even the way he developed physically. Ex-U of M guy like me, football player, uh, just an incredible talent. I'm not sure I'd place him at four only because from where I come in the business, they, I've seen you know the Harley races and the Ric Flairs and the Dusty Rhodeses and the Hulk Hogans and you know go down the list. Uh, but there's no question about it, Dwayne Johnson has certainly ensconced himself as being one of the great champions because to me, when you can supersede, uh, break outside of the parallel of what the business is, uh, whether it's you're selling hot dogs on the street corner and you become the best and, and suddenly you're on you know, national media or something, well, I don't know if I would put Rock in as an iconic champion. I think that Rock is an iconic talent without a shadow of a doubt. But the Rock only held titles for short periods at any given time. So to put him in there, to put Rock as one of the most iconic superstars of all time, even though you know, he wasn't in the business really that long, he is up there because of what he brought to the business and what he did. But iconic champion, I don't know. See, the problem with this is you're, you're talking about, it's apples and oranges. You're talking about the 1970s and you're talking about the 2000s. Uh, to me, an icon is timeless and, and Bruno is timeless and The Rock is timeless. Well, I'm kind of partial because I worked for his grandmother, knew his grandfather, knew his father, knew his mother. I mean, what can you say? Uh, how do you put a guy on four that's got four movies out where uh, Susan Sarandon, Bruce Willis are under him, right? I mean, this guy has transcended all entertainment. You know, not to try, try to take a stab at anybody, but we've, we've seen some of the abysmal movies that other wrestlers have made in the past that are embarrassing to watch. Uh, I can watch Dwayne's movies and be entertained by them and be proud of him to see how, how he was able to take uh, a bumpy start in his wrestling career, not let it sway him, move on beyond that, become pretty, pretty much of a household name in professional wrestling, and then have the balls to walk away from the business and become you know, a huge superstar in movies. So hats off to him. Mainstream, war is word that busts into my head right away. Uh, the glass ceiling, he didn't break through it. He completely shattered it. <laughs> I've had the pleasure of meeting The Rock, standing near The Rock, watching The Rock perform, and that man is 100% an authentic, bona fide superstar in anything he does. Charismatic as could be, uh, I, I don't know what else to say other than just, I mean, the guy, every tool had everything, has everything, can talk, has the look, can work. And a real respect for the business. Uh, a couple times I've been around him, he has a real respect for the business. He's one of those guys that went on and did Hollywood, but has a, knows that, that it was his foundation and what gave him the opportunity in Hollywood. He respects that. The beginning of, of his career, if you recall, had a bit of a bumpy start. You know, the characters that he was in weren't exactly right. He looked a little bit aloof or a little bit off-footing in, in, in his characters. Uh, but when I saw him do that first Saturday Night Live uh, skit when he did, played the monkey and eating the apple and stuff, I thought to myself, he, this kid's going to be something special because for our business, you know, I've often said our business, there are, there are no great actors, there are no thespians in our business. Uh, we have some wrestlers that attempt to be actors and may act out certain portions of the storyline well, but Dwayne has gone completely outside of that. He was great for the Attitude Era, and maybe because it's the most recent era, he's number four. But top ten, sure. Uh, number four, he, he might have been not number, I think The Rock could easily be number five. He may be the biggest breakout star mainstream wise probably in the in the history of wrestling I, I dare say to me it's like kind of you know Hulk Stone Cold Rock they're up there like number one it's maybe Steve and Rocky are kind of like neck and neck you know with the with the heart with the 
like breaking in the mainstream, maybe Rocky will get the edge, obviously, but amongst our fan base, Steve will get the edge. Again, if Rock is four, who's three? Yeah, I can see four, but I think it's a low f number for him. If you're going to do a top five of iconic champions, I, to, so far your, uh, your fans are pretty much, I'm in total agreement so far. Is the iconic champion, yes. T number four, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not quite sold on that bill of goods, if you smell what I'm cooking. Next on our list is the man you voted the number four most iconic champion. Um, I would definitely agree with that. I think that it, what he's done uh, after wrestling, I, I watched him come in and through and saw the way his interviews developed and his his charisma and his confidence and even the way he developed physically, ex-U of M guy like me, football player, uh, just an incredible talent. I'm not sure I'd place him at four, only because from where I come in the business, that I've seen you know the Harley races and the Ric Flairs and the Dusty Rhodeses and the Hulk Hogan's and you know go down the list. Uh, but there's no question about it, Dwayne Johnson has certainly ensconced himself as being one of the great champions because to me when you can supersede uh, break outside of the parallel of what the business is uh, whether it's you're selling hot dogs on the street corner and you become the best and, and suddenly you're on you know, national media or something well I don't know if I would put Rock in as an iconic champion I think that Rock is an iconic talent without a shadow of a doubt but the Rock only held titles for short periods at any given time. So to put him in there, to put Rock as one of the most iconic superstars of all time, even though you know, he wasn't in the business really that long, he is up there because of what he brought to the business and what he did. But iconic champion, I don't know. See, the problem with this is you're talking about it's apples and oranges. You're talking about the 1970s and you're talking about the 2000s. Uh, to me, an icon is timeless and, and Bruno is timeless and The Rock is timeless. Well, I'm kind of partial because I worked for his grandmother, knew his grandfather.